for our dear lady. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. How you all doing? Hope good. My name is Maureen Tengo. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. To my OG, thanks for coming again. Like, even though my phone got lost and I lost a lot of videos because I vlogged that day, I still have to do a story time because you guys deserve a story time and I have some clips here and there that I'll be inserting as we go. But anyways, like I said, you guys deserve to have this video because I carried you guys from way back. From the beginning like the airport getting to ghana my first day in school first week in ghana and all of that i carried you guys along and i can't miss this video to share with you guys for anything so let's jump straight into it firstly i want to thank you all for the congratulations you guys the love the encouragement you guys have been showing on me on instagram i'm really grateful for you where do i begin this video anyways i did my hair installation the day before the graduation so i came back home all i had to do is not all i had to do i had not yet stitch the dress i was supposed to wear for my graduation yes the whole of that night i was stitching the dress that i wore i'm going to post a picture so that you guys see the dress because your girl did it <laughs> anyways i spent the whole night trying to stitch the dress a lot of things were done last minute which if you ask me we would have done that earlier i was waiting for my mom to come before we do most of those things it came like two days before my graduation next day we had to go to accra to get my hair and we had to install the hair so before we went to accra i had done the pattern making even cut the fabric and i just left it we went to accra bought the hair we went straight to the place where they had to install my hair before we came back we ended up reaching the house at about 6 p.m which i came back i was tired immediately jumped on the sewing machine to start stitching my dress the dress i was supposed to wear for my graduation yes <laughs> the way everything happened at that time don't judge me oh, because the whole time we're working on i was working on my collection and like i did not have time and it was under supervision from the school sometimes you work on outfits you go to school and i'll tell you to unpick to do it again and it was really consuming a lot of time so yes, i didn't have time enough time to work on my graduation dress since i had made up my mind that i'll do it so i had to put i knew how i wanted the dress to look like so i had to put in the work i came back concentrated to doing the dress i think at about 2 a.m or 2 30 i was so tired i was like let me sleep in for two hours before i wake up and prepare i was almost done with the dress and then i just minor finishing here and there anyways my cousin came over for the graduation and she is studying cosmetology makeup nails pedicure and all of those things so she's into it so she was like she'll do my makeup so she had to do my makeup in the morning i was sleeping though doing my nails like i did not even know i only woke up at about 5 a.m in the morning and i realized my nails were done i was like ah, the nails were long and it wasn't really that long ago i got up she did my face beat my makeup was so on point and we began running late my friends were already calling me Marilyn, where are you hey they're still in the house <laughs> that's when i was running up and down la, 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 la. and it was to finish at about almost seven o'clock the event was to start at 7 30 in the morning by seven o'clock we're still running around the house looking for shoes to wear and all of that but anyways we prepared i ordered a car on boat as we were going along the way the car got bad <laughs> i cannot even explain the radiator was too hot and we like we were sitting in the car and the man just stopped the car went outside and took a 0.5 liter of water and was pouring it inside just watching him the guy ran to his boat removed a big container of water and was pouring it inside we're like ah bros we're already late for the graduation what's going on it was going to take like 30 minutes for the car to cool down my goodness we are already late and then this is happening we came out took another car friends were calling me like barely where are you they started calling your name yes they had started calling my name to come and collect the certificate we took another car to go there and it was a taxi most taxis don't use google map most taxis don't use google map but we order a car online it like it gives you the direction to the exact location you put when you were ordering the car we took the taxi the taxi did not know the location so we had to now be moving and asking people do you know this place do you know this place do you know this place wasting a lot of time you guys they called my name twice and i was not there <laughs> i miss taking those two awards i was not there the certificate and the first award i was not there the moving asking do you know where anita's garden is do you know we finally got there 
like on reaching there with the car they were calling my name marilyn tango Munyam. i'm like what's happening i was really confused because we were just getting there with the car and since it was an event and they had loud speakers i just heard marilyn tango Munyam. i was in the car I was like ah, in my name they're calling my mom immediately ran out of the car like that woman is such a drama queen jesus christ my mom immediately ran out of the car went to the venue i was like she's coming everybody started staring at me before i i mean i was struggling to open the car to come out she had reached there and she was like wait she's coming ah i want to just hold on i can't take the hour later she was just shouting i just opened the door came out of the car while i was walking to go and collect the award everyone was just staring at me like the car of <laughs> i've never felt that embarrassed and odd like that in my life like you're coming late for an event for you to just quietly go and sit you're making grand entrance ah my goodness i felt so like i was cringing the whole time my mom was clapping i was like hey everyone was laughing the whole scenario was funny like that's why i collected that hug without my heart <laughs> We have Vosa Daniel. Yeah. Uh, that picture looks so beautiful, but you don't know the chaos behind that picture. But anyways, I took it and I went and sat down. That was the most promising Jumian award. I sat down and then they called other students. And not long again, they called me again to go and collect another award. <laughs> Applause for our dear lady. Like you guys. Let me tell you the truth. I wasn't expecting any award because the competition in my school is very high and I always feel like ah people are doing so well. People are doing so well. I mean like it's just me. What do I know? And all of that. So I was really happy and motivated with dance all through. I took some videos that right now I'm really feeling emotional because I lost all of that content they are lost that phone i was even feeling more bad because of the graduation videos a few days after the phone was stolen i got to her google account i could only see the pictures she had taken before coming to ghana i mean all the pictures she took while we were in ghana got lost yeah we're not able to recover so a few of the videos and pictures that we are sent to other family members i just asked them to send it back to me that's how i was able to get the clips that i used in you know sharing the story with you guys like the day was such a very beautiful day i could feel my mom's happiness i would say my mom was the proudest person there <laughs> like basically the day was about her i just feel like she came all the way from germany to just come and bully me because she was bullying me left and right take pictures yeah do this do that like ah i was, I was almost like please calm down now it's my day yes well anyways i'm happy i took all those pictures it was such a beautiful day congratulations to me and all the graduates like we did so well Recently, we left from the graduation ground we passed through kfc and ordered a big bucket came, came back home <laughs> i enjoyed and i had to stitch my dress for the next day like you guys i was stitching back to back like the dress i had to wear the next day i had to stitch it that day and even the dress I had to wear on the fashion show day, I stitched it the next day. Like, now I understand why they say tailors always do their own sewing projects last minute. But I pray for deliverance because I cannot be like every other person. Ah! But anyways, we've come to the end of this. If you watch up to this point, please like. If you haven't subscribed, I better subscribe and join the family. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!